hello and welcome to the april vlog <laughs> it's april 2nd and i feel like i'm on top of things for once like i did nothing in all of march which is bad um i didn't watch any youtube stuff like i watched nothing on youtube i didn't respond to comments i missed five videos over the course of the month because i usually post two a week i missed five which is i feel like more than half the month um but this weekend I've been like getting more into things. I filmed two videos today. I have, I edited a video yesterday to go up tomorrow. I've watched like three weeks worth of videos in the last two days. Uh, I'm still not caught up on watching, but like I've watched a lot. Um, I haven't read, which is the one thing like I have decided to focus on YouTube this weekend. So reading kind of isn't happening. I'm working on A Thin Dark Line by Tammy Hogue, but I'm reading this for a different vlog, so probably won't be talking about this in this vlog, but like it's mediocre anyway, so you're not missing anything. Um, hello, Splain. She's so cute. Um, yeah. I feel like I need to like figure out a good work life YouTube balance here. Um, because it was like this weekend was like all YouTube, like all YouTube, all day, every day. Uh, which I mean it's only been like two days and I have done other things but like it's been majority YouTube and I know I've been catching up but it's also like a lot of time and I don't have that much time and my commute during the week is so long that I just don't do things so I think I'm going to try to keep to my schedule this month and if I'm struggling a lot maybe drop down to like one video a week just to like really give myself time because like filming and editing two videos a week is a lot in addition to like I need to read obviously I need to watch YouTube videos like obviously and it's just like a lot of time and it's like if I need to do anything else like forget it like I'm falling way behind so I don't know I'm gonna see how it works this month with like trying to do other things and like with my life because I have a weekend where I need to go out of town to a birthday party that like it's not going to be like a big thing, but it's going to take like the entire day where I'm not doing anything else. So it's just like, if I can make this work and still feel like I'm living life, I'll try to keep up with it. But like, I might in the future go down to one video a week, which makes me kind of sad, but like, I don't know. It is what it is. Um, yeah, I've also been thinking about my, my goals for this year. I'm doing badly. Apart from the tracking, I actually like have my tracking under control. I have a spreadsheet that I like that's tracking like the things that I care about that are important to me and like I may make changes in the future but like it's kind of what I want so it's working really well and I haven't had that before so like I feel like I finally figured that out and then I can like over the summer like reflect on the diversity of like so I want to like try to read more diversely and like see where I'm at and where I kind of need to be or should be um so that's going well. I'm that's like the only one though, because everything else is like my goal is to read all of the books that I buy this year. Like this year. <laughs> like read them as I'm buying them. I've acquired seven and have read none of them. So that's not going great either. And I also need to do an unhaul soon because I've got like 16 books on my shelf to unhaul, and it's just like I just did an unhaul in February. So I'm about to do another one and it just seems like too much, but also like I need to get these books off my shelf. Like, I would rather wait until next month, but, like, I don't have the space to leave them there. So, like, I like I have a stack of books on my floor because there's just not space. And it's kind of annoying to me. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure things out this month. I also still haven't gotten rid of my books from my last sun haul. Like, they're not still on my shelves. They're in a box in my car ready to go to a little free library. But, like, haven't actually been to a little free library. So that needs to happen this week like for real that needs to happen so that's what I'm doing that's what April is going to be trying to figure out life trying to do things trying to vlog because my last vlogs have been very minimal and very annoying and I haven't even shared my cats really apart from like hey spleen oh she's so cute um but yeah I'm gonna try to do a little bit more this month and try to be a little more involved and present <laughs> and alive really I am finally reading Endless Love by Scott Spencer. Um, this has been one of my most anticipated reads for like years. I just never read it. So I'm really 
I was gonna say looking forward to it, but I'm like decently into it. Um, I'm enjoying it. I'm not entirely certain like what it is or where it's going. Like, I don't know if I have wrong expectations for what this book is or if it's that I know spoilers and I shouldn't know these things yet, but like, it's wild. It's basically about this dude his girlfriend in high school, his girlfriend broke up with him and then he burned her house down <laughs> and wound up in a psychiatric facility for several years and now he's out and it's kind of just you're in his head and like nothing is really happening. You're just in his head and it's it's kind of a wild ride. It's not like a favorite so far but I am really enjoying it so like I'm hoping it continues to stay good and doesn't get, like, weird. Like, well, I mean, it is weird, but, like, sexist. Because it's, like, definitely sexist right now, but, like, on purpose. I'm just hoping it stays intentional. Um, but I am enjoying this. Um, I'm hoping, I don't know what I'm hoping. I'm hoping for something. But it's, it's interesting. That's, that's about all I've got so far, and I like interesting. Hello, a vlog update. I just filmed a video. And you can't see in, in the vlog, um, but I am surrounded by books in like a little cubby, um, <laughs> which is why I'm filming like this instead of usually when I film vlog updates right after filming like a regular video, I like shift the camera so it's a different angle that like isn't in my usual videos, um, but it that would require a lot of moving. So we're here. Um, I am still reading, I don't know where my book is, Endless Love. No new thoughts on that, I'm still reading it, I still don't know how I'm feeling. Um, I don't know. But I am reading it, and I'm not disliking it, I want to say that. I'm not sure I like it, but I don't dislike it. I'm just confused and I don't know what it's doing, because mostly it's doing nothing. But this dude is like stalkery and creepy and you're just like, sitting inside his head as he's thinking all his messed up thoughts. It's weird, but not bad. Um, I just filmed my nonfiction video. I have so many nonfiction books, like you don't understand. Um, I am surrounded, there's so many. Anyway, I need to read more physical nonfiction books because like, I knew I had a lot and I knew this was gonna be one of the higher ones, but it's well over double any of the other physical TBR videos I've done yet. Because most of those have been like 45 to 55, and this was like 130. Problems. Um, <laughs> I've been thinking a lot about a video that Time With Books did a while back. Um, probably like four months ago at this point because I was already way behind when I watched it. Um, I'll link her video down below but she was basically talking about her TBR and how she structured her TBR and like how she has like her curated section of her TBR of books she's like specifically sought out that she's going to keep and then she has like her kind of rotating TBR of like things she kind of picked up randomly that she plans to read and then unhaul. And she was talking about how she so much more frequently gravitates towards the that like revolving door of TBR books and like because like you know you're gonna read them and get rid of them so it's like kind of the mindset of like oh well, I might as well get this out of the way but then like you never or not never but like you don't go for those books that like you care about as frequently because it's like I can look at my shelves and tell you the books I have really high expectations for that I'm very much anticipating that I think I will love either because of the author because of the subject matter whatever I can like pick them out but I don't read them that frequently and that video just had me thinking about that and like what I can do to read more frequently the books that I think I'll love because like I don't like I do tend to gravitate towards books that I think will be kind of mid like again not like every book I read but like I tend to gravitate towards those because it's like I know I want to read them I don't think I will love them probably and I know that once I read them I will unhaul them so I'll have more room on my shelves which is just like it makes sense kind of in a way but then I just like wind up continuously putting off the books I think I'll love because it's like they'll always be there and like I don't know that video just had me thinking and I want to like make an effort to more actively choose the books I think I'll love 
like, I mean, obviously, like, I want to read everything on my shelves. I have them because I want to read everything. I don't want to act like I think I'm going to hate all these books and I don't want to read them. I do. But it's like, there is, like, different categories, kind of. Mine isn't, like, as specific and as structured as hers, it sounds like. But it's like, I can look at a book and be like, I'm probably going to read that and then unhaul it. And then there are books I look at, like, I will love this. Like, this book. Just because I had nonfiction in front of me. Like, I love flash nonfiction. I will probably love this a lot. There will probably be authors in here that this book introduces me to. Because it's an anthology of, like, 72 flash fiction stories. And it's like, I will probably love this. It's a really short book. I will probably get recommendations from it. Like, it will be great. How many years? Has this been on my shelf? I got this in college. I'm almost 30. It's been a minute. And it's like, why haven't I ever, like, prioritized this? Like, why did it take me so many years to pick up Endless Love? Like, her video was honestly one of the things that made me pick up Endless Love. Because I was like, I have been waiting, excitedly waiting, to read this book for so many years. And it's like, why haven't I? You know? Like, I don't know. It's something that, like... I, I never really thought of as much until she was talking about it and I was like, that's kind of a problem for me and I should probably deal with this. Like again, I want to read everything on my shelves, but it's like, I have a bunch of thrillers that like, I don't think I'm going to love. I have them because I occasionally like to pick up thrillers, but I do find that I look at them like, oh, I will read this and then unhaul it. So let's prioritize it to like speed up that process, which is like, it kind of defeats the purpose because then I just buy more thrillers that like serve the same purpose and like I like thrillers don't get me wrong I want to read them like I bought them because they look good but it's like I'm doing that instead of reading you know things I'll love which I don't know I think I'm gonna like work to make more of a priority like the things I love at least like frequently pick up something that like I have a five star prediction or that's a bad way of putting it but like the things I'm truly excited for. I don't know. This has been rambling about nothing, but her video had me thinking. So I definitely recommend you go check it out because it was interesting. It was thought provoking, clearly. So um, yeah, I'll link that down below. <sighs> I need to go put away all of these nonfiction books. Like, you don't understand. Like, it's just like piles and piles and piles, like 20 piles of books around me. Um, Yes. I'm gonna go do that and I was supposed to film another video today but I'm already losing my voice so maybe not. It is Sunday April 9th. I am still reading in this love. I still have no new thoughts. Apologies at some point I will actually talk about my thoughts on the book I'm reading but I have thoughts on other things. This is gonna be a very rambly vlog and long. It's only April 9th and I'm already just like multiple clips and just talking about random things. Um, one of my goals for the beginning of the year was to do two book reviews a month and I totally failed that in March which I didn't really post anything in March was the reason so I'm kind of giving myself a pass there like yes I failed but like I, I didn't fail because of that specifically I just failed because I wasn't being active on YouTube um, which life goes on and I'm gonna go back to like trying to post multiple book reviews a month but I, I've kind of found that that's not working for me like because I just look at books like oh like this isn't worthy of review like I'm only doing two a month so like I should pick books that I have thoughts on books that I want to share books that I can create like an interesting lengthy in-depth book review for it like I don't want to have like like if I'm only posting two book reviews I don't want it to be like a quick six minute video of like a brief overview of my thoughts. I want it to be like interesting and in depth and like that's fine but like it means I constantly am pushing off books. Like I had several last month that I thought about reviewing and I didn't because I was just like oh like like I was gonna review Last Call and I was like oh like I give it one star like it's too unpleasant. It was too not good. Like I just don't want to share this book with the world. I was gonna review earthlings and then that was like a lot of cannibalism and I was just like yeah I don't really feel like talking about that and it's just like it's much easier for me to make excuses so I'm wondering if I should go back to reviewing every book I read or at least every physical book I read um I wouldn't ever go to reviewing all my audiobooks and ebooks because like I process those differently but like physical books 
So, like, I'm wondering if I should and just, like, allow exceptions for things that, like, I actively don't want to review. Like, I don't have to film a review for everything, but just, like, by default, like, but just, like, my default is I review the book after I read it. And I stopped doing that because I was reading too much, but I've been reading slower and I've only been reading, like, a handful of physical books a month. So, like, if I'm reading, like, 12 physical books a month, I can't do that and I don't have time to, like film and edit and post that many videos but like I've only been reading a handful a month like I can always like not review things that I really don't want to talk about and that's fine but I wonder if I should just go back to that being my default because I do miss not having reviews be a major part of my channel because that was like when I started booktube and for years like I reviewed everything I read like I was mostly a book review channel and I kind of miss that and like I would like to go back to having more reviews and have that be like the primary focus of my channel along with like the other videos but like I don't know so I think this month I'm going to start doing that or trying to do that and if I can't then like that's fine like if that's too much then like this month will, I just won't I'll just stop <laughs> but I think I'm gonna try and see if that kind of like opens up the pathway to it being easier for me to film reviews because I have just been struggling with that so much since I came back after my hiatus like a year two years ago or something oh, I don't know I don't I think I am gonna try to just like start filming reviews for everything I read and, and see how that goes uh, which may not work at all um, I'm totally open to that possibility but it's just like if I lower my standards for it I might actually do it which <laughs> is much more important to me than like putting out one good review a month it's like if I put out many reviews a month more of them will be good and I just need to start doing it so I think that's what I'm gonna try to do um we'll see we'll see if that works or we'll see if I come back in a week and I'm like I'm no <laughs> I stopped for a reason um but we'll see we'll see how that how that works so <laughs> i had that whole big long thing about reading books that i think i will love and not focusing solely on like random books that i think i'm gonna unhaul and um in the spirit of that i'm now reading this which was clearly never going to be good <laughs> um it's a journalist journalist quote unquote um, about women who marry men who have been convicted of murder and are in prison. So, um, published in 1991. So that's wonderful. Like, I don't know. I have this whole thought of like, let's read things I think I'll love. And then I, then I pick up this and it's just like, I can't even be surprised that it's not good. Like, does this, does this look like something I would enjoy? Like, the subject matter is interesting. Like, it, it could be done well. It's just that, like, it's not... It's so shallow and bland and just repetitive and boring. I don't know. I'm not having a good time. I don't know. It's just so judgy. Like, it does feel really judgy. And, like, not in... Not even in, like, an interesting way, but just, like... Of, like, small things. Um, yeah, so that's not great. Oh, I'm gonna read it, because, like... I do find some of the stories interesting, kind of like, eh. It gives a little bit of a nick vibe, but like, I'm gonna finish it. Um, which makes me feel like this has been a very old reading month. Because I read Endless Love. Did I talk about finishing that? That was mediocre. Um, my book review for that's gonna be up by the time this goes up, so. I finished that, it was mediocre, I gave it three stars. Um, and that was published in 79. And A Thin Dark Line by Tammy Hogue was published in the 90s. I don't remember what year. Maybe 97. And this is 91. <laughs> it's just like kind of an old reading month. Um, so yeah, I'm working on this. And then, because I was like, I do need to pick up something that I think I might love. Like, if I'm gonna read this garbage, I need to like at least pretend like I'm trying. So I'm also working on Wishbone by Julie Marie Wade, which is lyric essay. Pretty lovely. Um, I'm not very far in. I, I really like her writing style, but I do feel like this is going to be too poetic for me. Like, like her writing is beautiful, it's just a little bit too on, like, 
the weird side of creative nonfiction for me. Um, like very experimental stuff like that, just like a tiny bit too much, but I am enjoying it. Um, and I'm, maybe once I get more into it, I'll get more used to her style, but it's not bad. Um, I'm working on YouTube stuff. I do like that I'm doing book reviews for every book I'm reading now. Um, it relieves a lot of the pressure of just like deciding what I have enough thoughts about to review and what would make an interesting and in-depth review where it's just like, I'm gonna review everything. So like, it's okay if it's only like a six or seven minute review, like, cause I'm just reviewing everything. And then, I don't know, some of them won't be as good, but like, I rarely regret having done reviews. It's why like, I look back and it's like, I kind of wish I'd reviewed that Philip K. Dick book that I read in January and I didn't. And like, it's fine that I didn't, but like, I kind of wish I had. So, I don't know, I do feel better with this choice, and I reviewed both the books, both the physical books I've read since deciding that, so I am very happy with that. I don't know that I will continue to read, like, liter to review literally everything. We'll see how that goes in the long run with how quickly I'm reading, but now I am reading physical books pretty slowly, so it should work as long as I keep up with it. We'll see. I am, I am happier for having made that decision. Hello, I have not vlogged for a minute. I don't know how long it's been. It could have been like four days, but like, it's just been the longest week. I went to a birthday party for a one-year-old a week ago, which was lovely. Um, it was dinosaur themed. It was super cute, but also just like, it was a very lengthy drive to get there and then a lengthy drive back and just, a very hot day so that was a lot and then I went to see Hamilton a couple nights ago because they were doing um performances near me uh -huh. so I went to see that which was fun um Hamilton's pretty mid like <laughs> I feel so bad I know it's like absolutely beloved and like such just like universal acclaim I don't get it like it's good like don't get me wrong it's a very enjoyable play but like I kind of actively dislike the first half and then the second half was pretty great I don't know <laughs> I don't know like I feel bad because like I really am not the biggest fan of Lin-Manuel Miranda and I kind of thought going to see Hamilton would make me a big fan like I really thought this was gonna be the thing that made me get him and it didn't I was kind of just like this is good but I'm still not really a fan of what he does um but all of the actors are great um the choreography was really really wonderful I had like really high seats so I was like looking down on the stage and like could see like all of the choreography and the lighting and it was like a really cool way to see it um I wouldn't go back to see it again but I don't know. It was really enjoyable. I was just like, I get why people love it. I just don't get why everybody loves it. Um, I don't know. I wish I liked it more than I did. Not for me, I guess. Um, but re weekend reading plans. I don't, I think I've mentioned most of these books on the vlog. All of them, maybe. I don't know. But these are the three things I'm reading that I would like to finish this weekend. Um, it's the 22nd? Yes, it's the 22nd. So, would like to finish all of these. Um, Wishbone, I am almost, almost done with. Like, I have the tiniest bit left, so we'll probably finish this today. Um, it's really wonderful. I struggled with the beginning, but after, like, the first, I think, two sections, it got really wonderful, and I was like, I adore this now. Um, and then my one fiction book domestic pleasures which I am holding judgment on let's let's say I'm holding judgment on this right now I want to get a little bit further in and then not holding judgment women who love men who kill um that's a weird way to hold it <laughs> not great not great um I should dnf it it's offering basically nothing to the world but I'm not dnfing it I don't know we'll see We'll see. I'm like halfway almost. Not quite. Mm. Mm. Like a third of the way. I was about to say I'm halfway and I'm really, really not. Um, it's not great. But I've read worse. This is not worth reading. 
I, I don't know why I wanted to read this so bad. I don't, but I did. And now I'm reading it and I don't want to DNF it, but like I should, I don't know. I'm not going to DNF it because I'm me. But yes, I would like to get through all three of these this weekend because I still have to read my book for the month that was recommended to me for the 12 book challenge. Um, which I am one book ahead, but I would like to stay one book ahead. Um, yeah, it's a YA horror, so it should be pretty quick once I get to it. But I would like to finish all three of these first. So a non-bookish update. I found a cat yesterday. Um, a little stray kitten looking thing. Um, I know she looks like she's maybe like seven or eight months old. Um, definitely under a year and like not doing great. Like not someone's pet, you know, like super friendly like a pet, but like she's way too skinny and like need, needs medical intervention. Hopefully only in minor ways, but like, I don't know. So that was an exciting adventure last night and I still have to go to work today. Um, I'm currently in my parents' garage because they're going to try to take her to a shelter, but I don't really know what's going to happen with her at this point. She's such a sweet, friendly little thing, but just like very obviously not being taken care of. She ate a bunch of food last night after I brought her in. So yeah, I guess I'll keep you updated, but there might not be anything to update if the shelter just takes her because I can't. At this point, I can't have another cat, but she's so sweet and like I wish I wish I could just give her a little happy home. The kitty is off in a shelter, hopefully on her way to a significantly better life. Um, I really wish I could have kept her, but I don't think Mimi and Spleen want a little sibling. I don't think Mimi wanted her first little sibling, so she is getting her medical attention and hopefully doing well. Um, I'm reading. I did not finish any of the things I said I would over the weekend. It's Thursday, so I've got like 10 pages left of two of the books and then like half of the last one and I just, I just need to do it. Like I just, it would take me like less than 30 minutes to finish two. And I, I did start something else. Um, I have my book for the 12 book challenge for March, which is Thursday the 27th, so I really gotta finish it up, but it's a YA horror, so I feel like I should get through that pretty quick. And then I just went to the library and picked up The Laughter, um, which I've heard really good things about, so I'm very excited for this one. Um, new release, I believe. I think it's my first new release of the year, so I'm very, very excited for this. So I'm hoping to get a lot of reading done over the next few days, the weekend, finish out the month strong, because I haven't finished all that much so far, and it's been not very much vlogging, I think. But again, I never really remember how much I vlog. So it appears that the kitty from the other day had a sibling, and that sibling is now in my apartment. Um, uninvited. It's midnight. People knocked on my door, my neighbors, I guess. I don't know my neighbors knocked on my door and were like, hey, is this cat yours? And it was just like a cat that was wandering around outside and the cat decided to to zoom on in. And I didn't even like see it until it was like already like zoomed inside. Now it's hiding under a chair and I cannot get it out. The other cat was like underweight and needed medical attention. So like I had to take it to like a shelter or a vet or whatever. <laughs> This cat, not underweight, doesn't need medical attention, at least like as far as I can tell. Uh, it looks like that cat's sibling, but like, I'm not about to just like take a random healthy looking cat to a shelter, like could be someone's pet. So like, I'm trying to get her to take her back out, but she's just hiding under my chair and like, it's midnight, like <laughs> twice in less than a week and I don't. This is not a place where cats are usually just like roaming around. Like, I basically live in a parking lot surrounded by busy roads. Like, it's not like this is like a nice neighborhood. I mean, like, it's a nice area, but it's just like, it's not a neighborhood. Like, I don't know why this is happening. I'm just like not emotionally equipped to handle this. I just wanted to like 
scroll through Nicolas Cage movies and then go to bed early on my Friday night instead of dealing with a kitty. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of just, she's in this room, which I don't love because this room, when I brought the other cat in, it was intentional, so I put it in a room where I couldn't get to anything and like, this cat just kind of ran in, so I just like closed it off in the first place I could away from my cats because I don't want them to interact at all. I just, oh. uh, yeah. Um, I don't know that this weekend is going to be as productive as I had planned. Um, yay, I'm having fun. I will continue to update on the saga of the multitude of stray cats in my area, I guess. It's April 30th, time to end the vlog. <laughs> this month kind of got away from me, like especially the last week with the cats. I evicted the poor kitty from the other day um, and as a result did not get much read this weekend. I was really hoping to finish these fleeting shadows for my 12 book project this month. Um, but it's the 30th, I'm less than 100 pages in, and it's like, I could sit down and, like, read this whole thing today and get it done. Like, it's a quick read, I could do it. I just don't want to spend my whole day reading, because I already spent a good portion of the morning reading my true crime book, because I wanted to get that done this month. Should have DNF'd it, read the whole thing, I really don't know why, but I finished it. Um, and I do want to work on YouTube stuff and film, I don't know if I want to film a video. The kid who kind of put me in a mood, um, but I at least want to watch some YouTube and edit a video for tomorrow because I missed Thursday's video. I have not filmed reviews for the last three things I've read. I did finish everything off the list, like the three books that I said I wanted to finish. I finished them all, so just not this one. <laughs> this will be my first May read. Um, so yeah, working on that. Um, I was looking back through my clips and I realized I never actually talked about this. Like at all <laughs> compared to the others so like I read this um because I finished this during the kitty week <laughs> as I call it um mildly traumatizing um yeah I didn't write a review immediately and I'm kind of glad I didn't because I was thinking that this was going to be be careful I was thinking this was a three-star book and like it was like not great like I didn't love this Domestic Pleasures by Beth Guccion didn't love it but it wasn't like that bad but like the more I was thinking about it the more I was like I don't think I enjoyed it careful you're not athletic baby I don't think I enjoyed it I don't think it was well done and it's just like the further I get from it because I mostly finished it last week um, I just needed to read like the last 20 pages. The further I get from it, the more that all I think about it is just like how terrible all of these parents were in so many ways. And it wasn't like a driving force of the story. It kind of felt like it was played for humor almost. But this man just kept complaining about her daughter. He called her a little beast. He called her despicable. He called her narcissistic. He called her self-absorbed. And I'm like, sir, please reflect upon your parenting and the fact that you are a terrible human being who's been treating your daughter terribly um, for years, probably her whole life. I don't know. It's like, you wonder why she is a troubled teenager and like she wasn't even that bad like <laughs> she wasn't doing great but like she was trying and then her parents would just like completely tear her down and then be like well why is she being disrespectful to us and it's like please look in the mirror like and then he would like talk about his girlfriend's kid and be like, well, he's so respectful and nice. And I'm like, well, look at the difference of the parenting styles when you like support your kid, listen to his problems, like actually ask him and invest in his life and like his interests and like, not that his mother was a great parent either. Like everyone was horrible. No one in this book knew where their kids were at three o'clock in the morning. I don't know. I'm going to film a review. It's just like, there was a lot more going on, but like, having finished this a few days ago now that's my main takeaway um 
kind of disappointing. It kind of made me not super interested in reading more from her because I really liked the first book of hers I read, which was still missing, which was about a mother whose son just like disappears and like the trauma of that basically. It was really interesting and well done. And it was like, I saw the writing style in this. It's just like story wise this had nothing i don't know i'm need to not just like talk about this because i'm going to be filming a whole review on this um but that was my main takeaway um it's been an interesting month i'm hoping there will be no more surprise kitties coming into my apartment because i'm not emotionally equipped to deal with that kind of thing i just kind of want to have a chill weekend i had plans this weekend of like I was gonna be productive, I was in a good mood, and then the kitty showed up on Friday night and it was like, nope, you're not getting anything done. So I need to catch up and get things done. I do like my new thing, filming book reviews for everything I read, or not everything, but like going into books with the assumption that I will be filming a review for it, I think has mentally helped me get over the block of filming book reviews. I haven't filmed one for the last three books I read, but that was just because of the week and like things were not good. But I will definitely be filming one for domestic pleasures. I think I think I'm gonna stick with two videos a week. Um I know I said if I missed any this month I wasn't I was gonna go down to one, but I missed Thursdays. That was because of the kitties and like that not being great for my mental health and having to deal with these poor sad kitties who were so scared. Um But I do think I can keep up with the two videos a week, especially with filming more book reviews. I read six books this month from my shelves, which I said was my goal. Um, I think I'm going to keep that as my goal to try to get to six books from my shelves. I'm going to be unhauling a few things I haven't read, which I'm looking forward to. I'm filming an unhaul next month. I don't know. Plans, things, stuff's happening. I don't want this to be like a 10 minute update on the video. Um, I'm just trying to get through life right now. I was, it's so bad because this week was the first time where I was like, I've finally adjusted to my work schedule and having weekends off and working nine to five. And it's like, I finally feel like I'm functioning. And then I just had two random cats show up in my home. So here's hoping that I don't find random kitties next month and that I'm able to be more functional. Um, this plane. This plane is very happy to not have any random intruders in her home right now. <laughs> she doesn't like when parts of her home are closed off to her. But um, I guess that's it for this vlog. Thank you for watching. As always, um, let me know down below if you have any comments, concerns, questions, if you've read these books, if you thought the kitties were cute. I don't know. Um, talk to me as always and I will see y'all again soon.